OMG. Welcome back to my channel. You may have heard an echo. Donna Jean is right down here drawing, uh, but she was very quiet. There she is. There is Donna Jean saying the intro with me and you got to see her beautiful face. Uh, welcome back. Did I already say OMG? I think I did. OMG. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It is Jody Dunn. And I am coming at you today with my Sunday Walgreens haul. Holy gamoly. We got a ton. So many deals this week at Walgreens. Um, if you're really wanting to learn the foundation of Walgreens, the quirks of Walgreens, all of the ins and outs, like actually learn Walgreens, not just the deals, you're in the right place. The other place I may suggest that you go check out would be Michelle from My Own Identity. Ah, she's amazing at Walgreens. Um, not very many channels really teach Walgreens. You will get a lot of teaching here on this channel because I love to teach Walgreens. And Michelle is fantastic. If you are new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new? right down there. I would love to welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I do want to let you know, several of you have sent me, you have received, um, boy, it's pouring rain out. It just started. OMG. Uh, you have received advertisements from the Catalina. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. Uh, the Gillette Solid Deodorants is on a, a register reward promotion. It is a Catalina promotion. I did not do that deal today just because I have a lot of Gillette deodorant already and it wasn't going to end up being a freebie or a moneymaker, so I passed. But if it's a product you need, it's a great time to take advantage of it while it is giving back a register reward. Uh, we got the new Fetch Rewards bonus back. Who's excited about that? Only available at Walgreens. Spend 30, earn back 10,000 points. And it always has been a limit of two, so I'm sure it is a limit of two. This time, it includes all Unilever products. How fantastic. Not only did we get a bunch of new Unilever coupons, uh, but a bunch of the Unilever products are also on a Walgreens promotion. So that is always the time when you can double and triple dip. I'm never looking for a freebie. I'm looking for how do I get a money maker by utilizing all of the avenues that I have, whether that's Walgreens rewards back, Fetch rewards back, Ibotta rewards back, uh, all of that good stuff. That's always my strategy. Sometimes we might get coupons that give us the product for free. If those coupons are not expiring, uh, I hold on to those and I wait for a promotion. Now I will warn you, we've talked about this several times. Um, we see this with PNG coupons. Unilever coupons are the same way. They act funky. So you're going to have to be careful. I think we got a, I was not interested in that deal, so I didn't do it, but I think we got a buy one men's body wash, get a deodorant free coupon. If you try to use two of those coupons, they're probably going to give you trouble. You need to scan the body wash and the deodorant and have the cashier scan the coupon. I don't know what it is. The uh, Dove deodorant seems to always cause extra issues. The Unilever coupons act funky, so be aware of that. All right. Um, and then one more thing, because I know I'm going to get 17 comments. Because <laughs> I do every time we get the Fetch Rewards promotion. The Fetch Rewards promotion is available to everyone. You will not see it on your Fetch Rewards page. You have to scan your receipt and then it will automatically pop up. Even though I say that, like I said, I get 17 people that comment and say, I didn't get that bonus. <laughs> I'm like, oh. So if you're not using Fetch, it is the absolute easiest rebate app to use. I have a tutorial linked in the description box of exactly how to use it. And my referral link will be in the description box. Now would be a great time for you to sign up. If you um, get the Unilever products, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with it. You'll get 2,000 bonus points just for using my referral code, which is $2. And then you'll, you could earn back at 10,000, which is $10. So amazing. I just bought EJ some bottles using some of my Fetch Rewards. I cashed out for an Amazon gift card and got him some bottles. All right, we are going to head 
into Walgreens and pick up some amazing deals. I'm so excited about this week. There are so many deals I couldn't even possibly do them all, but let's run in and grab some awesome deals. Happy Sunday. We are in the Walgreens. We're going to do a couple of awesome transactions. So for this transaction, I am working with a spend 20, earn $5 digital booster, spend booster from, from Walgreens. So of course, you know, I'll be building my transaction ups and allowing my coupons to pay for a majority of my spend requirement. So super excited about this deal. The soft soap, it's on sale. Buy one, get one half price. And when you purchase four, you earn back $4 in Walgreens cash. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these smaller bottles for $1.99 each. So at the buy one, get one half price sale, these are gonna total me $5.97. And Walgreens gave us a 75 cent off digital coupon that is applying to these smaller ones. So that'll bring me down to $5.22 and I'll earn back $4 in Walgreens cash. Makes my cost 30 cents each. All right, who's excited that the Unilever deal is back? It is only available at Walgreens and it is spend 30 and you earn back 10,000 fetch rewards points, which is $10. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that um, deal in this transaction with the Tresemme. They are on sale this week for $4.99 and when you buy two, you earn back $4 in Walgreens cash. I'm gonna go for the hairspray and I'm going to go ahead and use a digital coupon for $4 off of two on this. So these total me $9.98 after my $4 digital coupon. That'll leave me at $5.98 and I'll earn back $4 in Walgreens cash and it will start my tracking for that awesome Fetch Rewards bonus. All right, we've got a pretty great promotion on Tide products and um, some paper products. Although my store does not have the tags up on the Tide, they are included and they are on sale this week for $4.99. Buy four, earn back a $6 register reward. And Walgreens gifted us some digital coupons. So grateful for that because my area does not get the laundry coupons. So I'm gonna grab this Tide for $4.99 and I'm gonna use this $2 digital coupon. And then my next plan to get the four products was to grab four packages of the four equals 16 Charmin. And you can see my store literally had one. I got a $3 off three digital coupon that I was planning on using. I'm so bummed. That's the way it goes sometimes. So we're gonna have to rework this transaction. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab one of the Tide Pods on sale for $4.99. And Walgreens did give us a $2 digital coupon for the Tide Pods as well. So I'm still gonna go ahead and add in some paper products. They just weren't the paper products I wanted. The way I had planned it would have been, well, it would have given me the paper products I wanted and it would have given me an extra 50 cents in savings, but that's okay. So instead, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab one of the Charmin Essentials which is also included in on this deal for $4.99. And I have a 25 cent digital coupon for this one. The $3 coupon is not attaching to those. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, a Bounty Essentials, the six equals eight rolls for $4.99. And I also have a 25 cent digital coupon for that product. So I now have a product total of $35.90, but I need to get at $40 at least so that I can use $20 in Walgreens cash and have a low out of pocket and still earn back my digital spend booster. So Walgreens gave us a super high value coupon on the Bic products, $5 off when you purchase two, which is awesome. So I'm just looking for which ones they have in stock that I can grab and still use the digital coupon for. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these mechanical pencils, which are priced at $3.49. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a package of pens that are priced at $2.49. So these two total me $5.98. I'll use that $5 digital coupon. It'll make them just 49 cents each. And I have several products in this transaction that do not have coupons attached to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this $5 register reward that is expiring today to help lower my out of pocket. 
be careful with that BIC coupon because we do have BIC products that are on sale for buy one, get one half price. The BIC pens I bought at $2.49 are actually buy one, get one half price. If I would have picked up two of those instead that would have totaled me $3.73, my $5 digital coupon would not have come off. Because if the coupon value is higher than the product, even by one penny, it will not come off. So I now have a product total of $41.88, so I'll be able to safely use $20 in Walgreens cash to pay and still earn back my spend 20 earn $5 digital booster. And my out-of-pocket will be super duper low because my coupons will pay for my spend requirement. All right, we're going to move on to transaction number two. I had to go to a new store just down the road because I really wanted to do this transaction that's going to be a huge moneymaker and the other store did not have the products in stock. So I was looking for the Huggies nighttime pull-ups because we have awesome. I bought a rebates for these and they are on promotion two for 18 and when you spend 25, you earn back a $5 register reward. Remember when you are earning back a register reward, it never matters how you pay. You can use Walgreens cash to pay and still earn back your register reward. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab three packages of these Huggies nighttime. So they're gonna ring up for $9 each. So these three are gonna total me $27. I have a $6 off of two digital coupon and I have a $3 off one digital coupon. I'll earn back a $5 register reward and submit to Ibotta for $3 back a pack. It's gonna bring these down to just $4 for all three, but they're actually gonna be a huge moneymaker because on this account, I am working with a spend 50, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash. So to get me up to the $50 spend requirement, I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this awesome fetch rewards bonus um, by buying some degree products. So they are $6.49 regularly priced and I can't get these dang things out. So hang on a second. All right, I got four of them. So they total me $25.96. We just got insert coupons today. We also have a digital, but I'm gonna go ahead and use two insert coupons. These are on promotion for when you purchase two, you earn back $4 in Walgreens cash. So I'll actually earn back $8 in Walgreens cash since I'm purchasing four. And we have awesome Ibotta rebates for $1.25 back on each one. And this is gonna complete my Unilever bonus. So I'll earn back another $10 from Fetch Rewards. So with my degree and my Huggies, I'm now at $52.96. I'm gonna go ahead and use this expired spend booster. Some of you tell me that expired store coupons work in your store. They do not work in my store, but the expired spend boosters do. And then I'm gonna use a couple of $6 register rewards to help lower my out of pocket. And because I am using the paper spend booster, I cannot use any Walgreens cash to pay unless I am doing contactless payment, which I will not be in this transaction. So I will pay my balance using my PayPal debit card. All right, last thing I'm gonna grab and do this on a separate transaction, the complete home trash bags, which are basically all we use, are on sale this week for $6.99. I like it better when they're $5.99, but I missed out on that deal last time. My stores were totally wiped out of the bags we use. So I'm gonna use this store coupon that is expiring today, and I will be doing this in a separate transaction because that store coupon will totally screw up my Huggies deal if I put it all together. All right, a couple of things on my spend deal. My spend 50 earned back $10 in Walgreens cash. The deodorant is regularly priced, so technically I could use a 25% off coupon if I did a ship to store and had that coupon emailed to me. That's how you get it. Um, but as I've explained in several videos, for whatever reason, I cannot use a percent off coupon along with a paper spend booster. My stores, I have tried three different stores, they will not take. They will, they will kick one or the other off. So if you're able to use it, it would make it even a better deal. And the paper booster will stack right along with my digital booster. And remember, on the Fetch Rewards, 
uh, you have to scan your receipt to be able to see that bonus. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over these transactions. All right, here we are back at the kitchen table with this awesome Walgreens haul. So excited for everything I grabbed today. Again, there are so many deals this week, like so many. So pick and choose what makes the most sense for you. I mean, do them all if you want to. I'll be back to Walgreens for sure. Um, so in my first transaction, <sighs> I had a whole different I was actually gonna do this transaction first, but my store did not have any of the nighttime pull-ups. So I rearranged and did this transaction, which was a bummer because the store didn't have the toilet paper I wanted, but it's fine. It still worked out really good. Um, so I got the soft soap deal. That is amazing. I'm sure that's gonna go quick. Um, I got the four products that are giving back the $6 register reward. I wanted to start my fetch rewards bonus. So I grabbed two of the Tresemme hairspray. I actually sold a lot of that in when I did my stockpile, um, garage sale. So I'm almost out. So I wanted to grab those. And then I grabbed the two Bic, um, products because they gave us that high value coupon. And again, I am working with a spend deal here, spend 20, earn $5 back in Walgreens cash. And those high value digital coupons help me pay for my spend requirement. So let's take a look at the receipt. There's all my stuff. So I wouldn't get one half price. There's my two Tresemme at $4.99 each. And then my four products at $4.99 each. And then my two Bic. I used, uh, that is the, you know it's an um, e-coupon, or it's an electronic coupon when it says e-coupon. That's my $5 off to BIC. I don't know why it doesn't say BIC, but that's what that is. There's my $4 off to Tresemme, my $2 off the Tide Liquid, my $2 off the Tide Pods, my $0.75 cent off of the Soft Soap, my $0.25 cent off the Charmin, and my $0.25 cent off of the Bounty. This was totally all digital other than I used a $5 register reward to help lower my out-of-pocket. My subtotal was $22.63. So I went ahead and used $20 in Walgreens cash to pay for this. So redeemed, this visit was 20. And then I earned back $13.21 in Walgreens cash. Um, now, where's my notebook? Hang on, because I, I wrote down all my totals so I'd be able to tell you. Okay. Um, I earned back $5 for my digital spend booster of spend 20, earn five. $4 for purchasing two of the Tresemme and $4 for purchasing um, the four soft soap. Eight. Yep, that's 13. And then out of the Catalina machine, spit me out. I got an advertisement because advertisements print sometimes. I got my $6 register reward for purchasing four of the participating products. And then I got a $2 coupon off of Wet n Wild. That's the first time I've ever got a coupon off of Wet n Wild out of the Catalina machine. So that was awesome. So if we break this transaction down, by itself was not a fantastic transaction as far as cost goes. I did only pay a subtotal of $2.63 cash out of pocket, which is awesome. And of course I just used my PayPal debit card. But this transaction cost me $27.63. $22.63 plus the $5 register reward. So $27.63 was my cost. There's Gus for any of y'all that like to see Gus. He was not in the intro, so there you go. Um, I earned back $13.21 in Walgreens cash, a $6 register reward. So it makes my cost $8.42 for these products. Not a bad deal because I got two paper products, two Tide, soft soap, but we made up for it right over here, which I knew we would. And of course, I scanned my receipt to fetch rewards and guess what popped up? My Unilever bonus. It started tracking. So then I did this transaction, which was super duper simple. And I got the three nighttime pull-ups and I got the four degree. Now for the Unilever bonus, mix and match the products however you want. All Unilever products are included. Do what makes sense for you. I went with the degree because we have Ibotta rebates on those. So again, I'm looking and they're on Walgreens promotion. So I'm triple dipping here. I'm Walgreens promotion. I got Ibotta rebates 
And this is gonna complete my Fetch Rewards bonus. These are always the deals I'm looking for. Plus it's really hard to get a good deal on dry spray deodorant. So that was super duper simple. So there's my three Huggies at $9 each. They ring up for 27. There's my two degree deodorants and my two degree deodorants. So I had the cashier scan that points booster that I showed you that expired yesterday that went through perfectly fine for me. So jealous of any of you that can use uh, expired store coupons. I tried the other day because so many of you have been telling me that you've been using them expired. Yeah, they don't go through in my store. It's so odd to me that every store literally is different. So many of you can use a percent off coupon and a paper spend booster. I cannot. So many of you can use uh, expired store coupons. I cannot. Uh, but so many of you also say that your coupons and your register rewards and your store coupons won't scan the day that they expire. Mine scan perfectly fine. So we all have different weird things that we just kind of have to learn about our store. I haven't said it in a while, but when you know better, you can do better. If you know that's happening in your store, then you can plan accordingly. So I used those two paper coupons off of the degree. I did not have her scan two products and scan the coupon because I didn't figure I was going to have an issue because I only had four products in this transaction and those were the only Unilever products I had. I considered adding in the Vaseline because that's also on promotion this weekend. We just got coupons but I did not want to have too many Unilever products in one transaction. I knew it would create issues. And I will also tell you, we got a $3 off to digital coupon on the degree spray. I did not clip that because sometimes when you clip the digital coupons, it will also create an issue if you're also using the paper coupons, okay? Um, and then my $6 digital coupon off of three of the Huggies came off and my $3 off of one. I went ahead and used two register rewards to pay for this. Remember, Walgreens works off of line limits. I had one, two, three, four, five, six coupons. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. Technically, I could have used one more register reward, but there was no way I was going to pr press my luck and have it kick out my $6 off of two digital coupon. Because we know if a register reward attaches to the wrong product, your digital coupon is not coming off. So my subtotal for this was $25.96. I did pay that with my PayPal debit card. Now, if you want to do this transaction and you are not working with a spend 20 or a spend 50 earn $10 in Walgreens cash, you can use Walgreens cash to pay. You could have used $20 in Walgreens cash to pay. As long as your coupons cover your spend requirement, let's say if you had a spend 20 earn five, you could have a much lower out of pocket. But on this account, I had a spend 50, earn 10. So I did pay that with my PayPal debit card. I earned back $25.52 in Walgreens cash on this transaction. I earned $7 for my digital, no, $7 for my paper spend booster, $10 for my digital spend booster, $8 because I did the degree deal twice. It's $4 for every two that you purchase. So does that equal 18 plus eight is, no, 17 plus eight is 25, yep. So, and then I received back my $5 register reward because I spent $25 in these products. I told you in the store, this one was gonna be done all by itself because I was using a $5 store coupon. My $5 store coupon would have taken a discount off of each product and it would have lowered my spend amount down so I would not have spent 25 in pull-ups and therefore I would not have got the $5 register reward back. You can use Walgreens cash and get a register reward back but you can't use a store discount that lowers down your spend requirement. So let's talk about this dang amazing transaction. So my cost was $25.96 plus $12 in register rewards that I used. So my cost was $37.96 for this transaction. 
I earned back $25.52 in Walgreens cash, a $5 register reward, submitted to Ibotta for $14 back, and then scanned my receipt to fetch rewards. And guess what? Got my $10 fetch rewards bonus and already started tracking for the next one. It is a limit of two again. So I earned a total of $54.52 on this transaction. That cost me $37.96. It was a dang $16.56 money maker. Are you kidding me? So, so excited about that. So I did have a cost over here of like eight something, 842. This more than made up for it. And then I decided to go ahead and pick up some trash bags and kind of eat up the money maker I had. Uh, so I just picked up the nice trash bags for $6.99. I used my $5 store coupon. My subtotal was $1.99 with tax, it was $2. So I used $2 in Walgreens cash, paid 11 cents in tax. And I did use my PayPal debit card. I didn't even pull out any change. So that was amazing. So if we add everything up here, I had a cost of $8.42 in this transaction, a $16.56 moneymaker, and a cost of $6.99. Remember, you do it however you want, but literally math is math. If I count that I earned a reward as a reward earned, I have to count it as a reward spent. So even though I literally only paid 11 cents for this trash bag, which is awesome that I used all Walgreens money to pay for it, it still had a cost of $6.99 for me because I'm a math girl and my cost is very important. So cost of $8.42 over here, cost of $6.99 here, had a dang $16.56 money maker here, which makes everything you see on this table work out to be free plus a $1.15 money maker. If I wouldn't add it in the trash bags, uh, it would have been about a $7 money maker for everything, which is pretty incredible for two paper products, tied, soft soap, uh, pull-ups. Uh, love this haul. I would love to hear what deals you are excited to grab today at Walgreens. Always feel free to drop them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm going to see you again soon.